She is a superstar. She is a top pick in the draft if she goes pro, which we think she will. Probably number two draftee behind Caitlin Clark of Iowa. We will see. Stanford comes out. They win the tap. They're in their black uniforms tonight. And Florida State in their white. And Florida State number 13 uh, in the country also undefeated. Early in the going, Stanford the first bucket. This is the Bulldogs classic game, the championship game tonight from the Dollar Loan Center. So, and here comes Florida State. Stanford got here with a win over Belmont on Wednesday, 74-55. Florida State. So here we go. 4-2 is our score. Kevin, keys to the game tonight. Let's start with Florida State. You talked about... ...to one shot, crashing the defensive boards, getting a body on someone, and making sure that they get out in transition. There's a nice little jump. Tania Lawson, she had a great game, the sophomore, the other night. And now Stanford is going to run their offense. As we saw on Wednesday night here at the Dollar Loan Center, the pace team, both teams attacked the bucket early, and that's what I like to see. Both teams are 5-0 and oh at the free throw line. Boskaya from Athens, Greece. She is a junior. And she is going to go one out of two. Great offensive rebound that time up front by Kiki Irioff, and it just doesn't lead to anything, and here come the Seminoles. All the way, lay it up, just missing the layup. Florida State's going to have to maximize their transition game. You've got to hit your layups against Stanford. We saw Stanford on Wednesday night kind of play a little lackluster in the first and second quarter, but in the third and fourth quarter, it was all Cardinal, and they ended up winning that game. Like you mentioned, those wide-open buckets, to be able to hang here with a very high-potent offense that Stanford has. Florida State's turn to try to get on the offensive set. Good offensive board in the paint. Bucket there and give that bucket to Sakaya White, the junior, with the bucket. And now Stanford back the other way in a basket for Erie often. And right now they are just trading baskets and a lot of offense. Wide open jumper and... Northwestern, 14 points. Career high for a three-pointer. She can get it going offensively. She's the only Seminole this season to score in double figures all five of the games. So she's missed consistent so far for FSU. Cameron Brink with the rebound that time for Stanford. She has got two points in the contest so far. Nice give and go. Here comes Florida State on the miss. This is Tucker with the basketball. She really started fast Wednesday night. That one's a little short, but she gets her own rebound. She's got space, takes it all the way in. Two. Pretty hard work by Alexis Tucker. What a heads-up play. Follow your shot, guys, every single time, and there Tucker pays. And Stan, one-point game, and this is kind of what I expected at least. Brink. Picking up the loose ball, and here comes Stanford in the black uniforms. They were in the white the other night. Here, often turns and shoots, because those open shots, Stanford will hit those. Yeah, Jeff, it's clear early on what Stanford's game plan is. Really high-level college basketball. We're seeing a lot of made shots. Both teams shooting pretty good percentages so far, both over 50% here in the early goings. But the pace is almost unreal right now. Turnover there. Haven't had a timeout yet. Here comes Stanford all the way, and that's going to fall. That one goes again to Elena Boskaya. So she in the game now has seven points. And Brink with one of her blocks. Staying out of foul trouble. We saw that in their win against Belmont. In the first half, she had to sit. Florida State counters there with a bucket by K.K. Timpson. And it's back to a one-point only advantage for Stanford against Belmont. If Florida State can score here... They will have done something Belmont could not do. To the basket, some contact, no call, Brink another rebound. She had a ton of rebounds the other night as well. 16, and there's a long three-point for Florida State. Seven holes. Trying to work it on that deficit, down by four. For Florida State offensively early on, active hands, getting their hands on the ball in the passing lanes, blocking shots. Gordon so quick to the rack. Lay it up and draw the foul. Amongst the trees and drew the foul. Beautiful play by Gordon. The quickness, the differentiator there, I'm guessing. Gordon's got seven in the game. She's three out of three from the floor and one for two from the free throw line. Two for two. High IQ basketball. You see the ball movement, the open shots that they're getting. That one's over the back. Florida State's no slouch either. They come in in the top 15, number 13 in the country 
That one is a little shy, and the rebound is batted around. Florida State comes up with it. Easy lane. Stanford has the basketball in their black uniforms. Take it on Florida State in the white with the maroon trim under the basket. Wide open. Shot is missed there. Batted around, and here come the Seminoles on the run. But 2-1-3, they do not have numbers. So they'll leave it behind. Looking for a long three-pointer. Carla Villegas the other night did it, and she's done it again. Man, she's staying hot. She had a career high off the bench, 11 points, and she has picked up right where she left off. And Stanford immediately counter punches with Elena Boskaya with a three. Villegas tries the second one. No good. Florida State's got the rebound. Great hustle there. Going to the rack, laying it in and scoring. Here comes Florida State, 23-21. Number 13 and number 4 on a Friday night in Vegas. What do you want? Shooting percentages both over 50% so far in the first quarter for the moment. Big chance now for Stanford with numbers. Into the corner. Three-point lefty try. That's short. Offensive rebound, though. Taken that time by Brooke Dimitri in there. In the paint. KK is having a, uh, a big game here. She is. She's playing really tough. 14 points, 9 rebounds. Florida State by 3. Tell you what, it's hard to keep up. Mitch is back and forth. They're, they're sinking bucket after bucket. I mean, it's only the first quarter. And a 3-point lead over number 4 in the country, Stanford. Behind the back, Latson looking for a shot. Can't get it. Finally gets it and makes it. He's got 4. This loose ball, and here comes Latson again, one-on-one, -on -one, takes it in, that will fall. Four points in, I don't know, 21 seconds? They are getting in the passing lanes, they're, you know, pressuring the ball, you have to love the Seminoles' defense early on. And a jump. Working around, there's a wide open three, that's on the way, that's good. He's going to make it, a wide open look. And that gets Stanford within five, they were down eight, but Florida State's on She's got two points, but she's only taken the one shot. So right now, Stanford with it. Lapolo dishes it around. Now it's underneath the break. That's what they're looking for. She puts it up at an end. Belmont, that ended her streak. So she now holds, she's the second all-time leader in 70 uh, consecutive free throws. They got a four-point lead now. As Latson is getting ready to operate. She pulls up, she dishes, good pass, but Brink knocks it. Tough two, call there for two the Two seconds ref. is time to catch and shoot. And they catch and they shoot. What a sequence under the basket. Tania Latson having her unbelievable quarter. With the basketball right now, the Stanford Cardinal trailing by six. An unfamiliar position for them. They never trailed in their early game. Brink is now coming alive. Another deuce for Cameron Brink. Florida State looking to counter. They lob it in underneath, some room there. Coming off the 27-point, 16-rebound performance in their win over Belmont. She's got it now in the paint, kicks it back out. This is where Stanford is dangerous. Brink on the offensive glass. She's talking about so, she can do so much. She has so many weapons in her arsenal. She can step out, she has a great touch, and finish easy around the bucket. And there's the whistle. The importance there. of Brink staying out of foul trouble. Yeah, we saw that issue against Belmont. She had those two early personal fouls, and Tara Vanderveer had to take her out and sit her. And the whole dynamic of the dangerous when she's on the court, obviously. They do not want her on the bench. And so look for the Seminoles to maybe take advantage of having Brink on the bench. Oh, for 2 on the free throws. So a missed opportunity there, and here comes Stanford. Down by 2. They were down by as many as 6. In the first quarter, great give and go. Nice passing. Florida State basketball. 8.20 to go in the second quarter. All tied at 34. Florida State looking to regain the lead, and they... Nobody picked up ball. Yeah, that was that was very odd. That was a little odd. Jumper from the elbow. That's good by Ariana. Ball out of bounds. Actually, check that for Florida State. Shot clock at 20. Trying to find some room. Nice touch that time by Latson, but. And Amaya Bonner, number 24, who can also shoot from distance. But right now there's an opportunity, I think, for Florida State to go down low with 11 points in the game, including a couple of three-pointers. She's one of two of the line tonight. Make that one of three. Great game so far. All even right now at 36. Top 15 showdown here in Vegas. 
second free throw is good. Oh, ball out of bounds for the Seminoles. Plenty of time. But Jetty now finds a little bit of room. Drives to the basket. Doesn't get it. Rebound to Erie off. And here comes Stanford. Lee Polo with it right now. Leaves it behind for teammate Erioffen. Uh, it's going to fall in. Excellent passing there by Stanford to find Erioffen. And beautiful touch for Erioffen to knock that down. She is 7 of 12 from the floor in this game. And here comes Talana. Three-point game. Stanford trying to push the lead if they can. High post. Great defense. And here comes Florida State. Two on one for the Seminoles. All the way to the basket. Oh, what a spin. Chloe Clardy got in there now. Number 13 for Stanford. Trying to get the basketball. Loose. Taken at the free throw line. Now for a three-pointer. Hannah jump just misses. She struggled the other night. She's trying to get her rhythm back. Great three-point shooter. And this one is a bomber, and that's also no good. So two chances for Stanford on the offensive end, and they go 0 for 2 on that from long range. No look, underneath pass, easy layup, and the Seminoles are on top now by one. Very high-scoring game. What a pass by Gordon. I don't even know how she saw White, and she laid it perfectly over to the defender. Excellent pass by Gordon. Offensive board now for Stanford. The follow is no... Stanford at the free throw line right now. That gets us back to level. 40 to 40. Unbelievable. So many points in this game. Has again regained the lead. A bunch of lead changes in this one. Both sides having their chances. Right now, Bonner's got it for Florida State. We don't see as much set offenses in this. And the crowd's really starting to realize, look at this drive. What touch that? She just gets to the lane and just lays it off so so carefully. Excellent touch. And just a heads-up play, Jeff. This is the first time all game that both Kiki Arioffen and Cameron Brink are on the bench. Watch the Seminoles take advantage of that and attack the paint more. They definitely are trying to protect Brink from fouling out of these games. But she only has two right now. Left-handed jumper for Nunu Agara of Stanford. And it's the Cardinal by one yet again. Florida State trying to find the open space they were finding in the first quarter. Bonner takes it and sort. Bonner is so smooth. We saw her do that move a couple times against Belmont. She's, uh, I mean, excuse me, against Northwestern, but she's so long and takes advantage of it. There's the loose ball. And you can recognize her very easily because she's a lefty. Great shot there. That's what it looks like from behind the basket. State of the art dollar loan center here in Henderson, Nevada. In case you're wondering or you're not from here. Gorgeous run. venue. Awesome place for the Ball Dog Classic. To the basket, no good. Here come the Cardinal. They'll slow it down just a mile per hour, but cutting towards the basket and scoring E. Clardy, the freshman from Conway, Arkansas. Florida State has the basketball now. In the paint, off balance, and now with four. Just a great move by Tucker. Not much a defender can do there as Tucker backs her down, uses her body with a smooth fadeaway. Great offense. Stanford look at the counter now. Inside two minutes to go until halftime. Stanford with it now. Shot clock inside 10. Clardy from the free throw line. No good. Florida State will breathe. They all should breathe. Just a minute 15 to go. And this is only the second quarter. Yeah, it's a lot of points. Seminoles with a one-on-one -on -one down there. No help on... Gets it over to Boscana. Elena. And we have a free throw time for Elena Boscana. And the lefty from the line rolls it in. I mean, going back to the defense, I mean... The Seminoles have been aggressive all game long so far, but there's that fine line where you can be... She makes the free throw. Stanford by one, 40 seconds to go. Villegas launches one, doesn't get it. Scramble for the ball. It's grabbed by Stanford. Shot clock about six seconds ahead of the game clock. So Stanford might run it down, but both teams should get a possession. Save an offensive rebound by Stanford here. They're going to let it tick down a little bit. See what happens. And it's stolen. That's what happens. And here comes Florida State all the way. Layup is no good. It's stolen back by Bajetti, and she turns and shoots and misses. What a sequence. Inside eight seconds to go. Stanford needs to get the ball in the air towards the basket very soon. Like It'll count. Yeah. 
Janiah Harriel, 52 to 48 Stanford. We had eight ties in the first two quarters. We had 12 lead changes. Florida State led by as many as seven. Stanford led by as many as four. Right now, it is Stanford by four. They have the basketball. Cameron Brink is back in the game with two fouls. Trying to stay out of foul trouble, and Stanford now is up by six. And that's what the Seminoles succeeded so well at in the first half was limiting Stanford to just one shot. There they took advantage of the second chance. Top couple draft picks in the WNBA draft. She has the ball there, gets the rebound, gets blocked. But Brink is playing with a couple of fouls. And now Hannah... One player you do not want to see heating up, Hannah Jump. As I mentioned, a prolific three-point shooter. Short shot, nice offensive rebound. So probably clear to play as long as she wants, as hard as she wants, until she gets another foul. Now they're all of a sudden, Kevin, up by nine. Yeah, Kiki Arioffin is having herself a game. 18 points, 12 rebounds, uh, already a double-double. She had a double-double with four minutes to go in the first half. She's Brink, playing lights out. Tara Vanderveer, coach of the Olympics, coach of everything, three-time national champion at Stanford. So they're going to make adjustments. And the question here is, can Florida State counter? And so far... They have not been able to. Another th so 11 to tie, 12 wins away from being the all-time leader in men's and women's college basketball. It is remarkable for sure. Stanford 5-0. and oh, Same with Florida State. Something has to give, and Hannah Brink has picked up another block. Or check that Cameron Brink. Now to Hannah Jump. Stanford on the offensive here. Cardinal on a 10-2 run since the third quarter started. High post now to Brink. Now in the paint, Erie off in a nice gorgeous touch. You know, Jeff, there are 16 players in women's college basketball, only 16 that are averaging above 18 points and nine rebounds. Kiki Erie off in Distinctive advantage for Cameron Brink at 6'4", the tallest player on the court. Florida State trying to find a way, and they're going to have to do it from the perimeter, it looks like. That'll count. And Tucker right there. We talked about her in their win against Northwestern. What a vital role she plays as a grad transfer. You know, she's seen it all, and just to have her out on the court as a leader. Talana Lapolo, number 10, over on the near side. They sling it around. Nice no-look bounce pass. The other night is now up to eight points in the game, and all of those coming in the last uh, eight minutes or so. Yeah, Hannah Jump was 0 for 7 in the first half, heating up here. Some of the fans thought there was some contact there. But now with uh, Brink on the bench with three points, with three fouls for Stanford. You can't say enough about how Kiki Iriathan is playing today. As I mentioned, she had a double-double in the first half. They're taking advantage of that and going to Kiki often. And she's taken the bulk of the shots. 19 field goal tries in this one for her. Looking for some room. There just isn't any room. And the ball is ripped away by Iriathan. And here comes Stanford. That one's short. Second time through. One on three now. All the way to the basket. Lay it up, draw the foul. And I can tell you who's sitting behind the other basket is a Northwestern doubleheader here tonight. Northwestern will play Belmont about a half an hour after this one. Right before the end of the second quarter, right before halftime. Hannah jump, fires straight away, is on target, but short. And Sarah Bajetti just goes coast to coast. Doesn't want this one to slip away. Stanford is capable of going on amazing runs and putting teams away. Shot on the way. She went 0 for 7 in the first half from behind the arc, and now she sunk her third three-pointer. Like I said, when jump gets hot, she gets hot fast. Stanford now a little more comfortable. I believe this is their biggest lead at 11. But Jetty continues to work. Great game so far that scoring. Couldn't probably hit 200 points in this game. So. It's, it has been a classic. How are you feeling about the Bulldogs classic? You had a great game on Wednesday night, yes. and now you have two of the really premium teams in women's college basketball playing right now, Absolutely. including one of the top players, Cameron Brink of Stanford, yep. who's probably going to be a top draft pick. Yep, she projected the top two right now, and it's just, you know, it's amazing to have a young lady in our event. It's an amazing class, class act team, both teams as well. A Good bank shot. shot for Florida State. They are now down by just six. Tell us a little bit more about Ball Dogs. I know you guys do a lot of stuff here in the greater Las Vegas area yes, as sir. well. Tell me about that, Neil. Um, we do, um, this is our home, so it's been a, you know, it's been a blessing to put on our first college basketball event with BD Global. 
They've been amazing, amazing partners for sure. Florida State trying to get some more buckets here. Stanford with the rebound there. Tell me a little bit about how an event like this comes together because you're talking about number four in the country, Stanford here. It's been literally orchestrated, like I said, through BD Global. They put it together, and it's just been a blessing. This specific event, uh, we've talked about it for about a year. Um, you know, last year was paired with women's basketball and just really exploded, and our goal is to make – um, so kind of like the Champions Classic of women's basketball. I know you guys are very active, too, on the socials. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your, your social media presence with um, all dogs. Yes, so we have, uh, we just surpassed a million followers last month. Very past. This week has been for us. We've had some really big weeks, and we've done some stuff with LeBron and his kids, and this is right up there in terms of engagement-wise. That um, one's a so. little long. Cameron Brink with the rebound, and she draws 12 lead changes. Eight ties. It's, it's, it's been a, exactly what you want in a championship game for an artist. Missed one on the season, mm. and she had been gunning for the, the all-time record for consecutive free throws until that one missed. But yeah. Florida State, Stanford came back. There were so many lead changes, as you indicated, too. Yeah. And right now it's just an eight-point game, and the Seminoles have the basketball. This will be interesting, and it is. A two or a three, I'm not sure, but it looks like it, it was a, like two. a two. 74-68, less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Chatting with Neil Carter, who is the CEO of Ball Dogs, responsible for the basketball you're seeing right here with these top schools competing. What a great... I have an amazing team behind me, staff of over 100, and they do an amazing job. Shot clock at 19, game clock at 26. Plenty of time to get a quality shot Ooh. off. A left-handed layup. She's what a so great good. finish. Unbelievable. That's Omaria Gordon, and she is really quick, and she can really play. Seven-point game here. Last chance coming up for Stanford of this quarter, and then the fourth quarter will follow. Neil, Ball Dogs is really a basketball organization that, yes, that drives content for people that absolutely live basketball, right? Yes. Yeah, yes 26 points, 15 rebounds. As you mentioned, we still have a quarter to go. Someone's going to hit 100 points, I think. We'll see. Right now, it's Elena... Boscana gets it down to Brink. She will not be stopped. She will not be denied. Two more for Cameron Brink. Speaking of stars, that's 13. Amazing pace underneath. Finding the lane and driving all the way is Omariah Gordon. So she gets a basket for Florida State. Their first in a while. 26 on the shot clock. Stanford basketball. Hannah Jump has an underneath. Bounce pass. Underneath. And an air ball that time by Elena Boscana. Here comes Florida State, Bajetti. You know she's going all the way, and you know Brink. Like I said, they're they're so fast. They're they're hard to call sometimes. Now in the paint again, they try Brink. And that was Brink's fourth personal foul, as you mentioned. She heads to the bench. And a chance for Florida State with Brink on the bench Go with it. And it's stolen. Breakaway, a free layup. Steal and transition bucket is one. And we have not seen a lot of those. That was a wide open breakaway. Cross court pass. Hannah jump. Great move. Locks and loads. Ball out of bounds right now. Florida State has it. Trying to get an easy basket. But that's not happening. The turnaround just missed. Great hustle on the rebound. Great pass underneath, but it's so much traffic down. Free throw time for Florida State. Still a lot of time, and it's a step. Neither team, to my knowledge, Kevin, has walked the ball up the court yet. They run it up the court every time. you got to be in tremendous condition to keep this up for 40 minutes. Knocked yeah, out of well in shape, as you pointed out. Stanford gets it in. They hand it off. A three-point try. Hannah, another three-pointer. She's got 17 points. All four threes coming in the second half. And back. Chloe Clardy inbounds it to the top. And that's where Hannah Jump has it. Jump's feeling way better than she felt on Wednesday for sure. Here's another three-point try. Watches that one go in. And that one was uh, dropped by Stanford to get their lead to 90-81. to And Dimitri made... 
Florida State's defense play on the on the late tr- uh, switch. Make the extra pass if there's any kids listening. <laughs> <laughs> or adults. Or adults, exactly. Someone's going to have to shoot, and it's knocked away. Timpson, excellent defensive play there to get her hand in the passing lane, not commit a foul. Underneath, wide open shot down low. If Florida State tried to do it, couldn't do it. Coming up on the four-minute mark. Left-handed pass back to the top. Clardy getting a lot of minutes for Stanford in this game. Brink turns, shoots, and scores. And that's scary. When you have your 6-4 big with that type of touch, I mean, what can't Cameron Brink do? Florida State trying to counter underneath. No foul call there on the drive. Florida State needs help on defense. Stanford probably can run this down inside seven or six seconds every possession the rest of the way, given their lead, but it's only nine. They can't afford to come out of an offensive set with nothing. But they're at least moving the clock down. Coming up on three minutes to go. Brink with it. She'll shoot. That's a 16-foot for Cameron Brink. 19 points for her in this game. Unbelievable. With Timson in her face, she kind of faded away. Excellent shot by Cameron Brink. And a steal. This would be the dagger, but it isn't. Just a little. Florida State still hanging, hanging tough right now. But it's an 11-point margin, and Florida State needs points, and they need them now, and they need some defensive stops. All the way to the basket. That time, she drew the foul on Brink, and that's going to be it for Cameron Brink. She didn't like the call. She just put her head down, knew that Cameron Brink was in foul trouble, and just drew Cameron Brink's fifth. Free throw number two coming up now to make it a nine-point game. And that's good. You only have a 30-second shot clock. But the game clock's at two and a half minutes. Inside, and Erie off at 28 points. She's having herself a game. Offensive miss. Honestly, it's been an incredible tournament for a Bajetti. As you mentioned her play today, she also had 17 points, 7 of 14 against uh, Northwestern in their first game. Erie off and that may be the dagger. From the elbow on the right side, Kiki Iriofen, 30 points in the game. Florida State counters, misses the layup, gets their own rebound. They'll try again. Vegetti for three, a little bit long, and Stanford's going to take its time right now. One minute to go. Stanford's going to go to 6-0. and Florida State's going to drop to 5-1. and one. Stanford's going to be the champion of the Bulldogs Classic here. The consolation game coming up between Northwestern and Belmont. Backcourt foul there on the break. Hung with Stanford. It was a four-point game at halftime. Florida State really playing hard basketball. They will grow from this. And it's a check of where you are as a team in the very early part of the season. Exactly. If I'm Brooke Wyckoff, after this game, you know, I'm applauding my team. Like you said, they played the entire game so hard against the number four team in the country, and they, for the most part, went toe-to-toe. But played hard. She did, and you mentioned it earlier. The entire Seminoles roster, the head coach, Brooke Wyckoff, has to be so proud. Uh, like you said, it's it's a check. Early in the season, that's kind of where you want, you want to use these games as measuring sticks. And for them to play toe-to-toe with the number four team in the country as they head into ACC play... That's a lot, saying a lot. And for Stanford, they're going to go to 5-0. and Give them credit. I mean, they have the target on their back, right? The number four team in the country. Everyone wants to take down these top teams. And, and they answered every time Florida State went on a run and made it tough. Stanford had an answer. And that's why they are moving to 6-0. and And Stanford got to 100. Florida State, 188 is our score right now. Last chance. Stanford just running out the clock. Inside 15 seconds to go. Don't forget to join us in about a half an hour for Northwestern and Belmont. It'll be right here. It'll be on the live stream. And it should be a good one. This one is over. Stanford wins the Bulldogs Classic 100-88. to Congratulations to both sides on a well-played, hard-fought game.